I'm Major General David McMinn, Commander of the Texas Air National Guard. As members of the Texas Military Department, we're all aware of our Adjutant General's priorities, people first, relevant and ready, and communicate and partner. These priorities guide everything we do, in and out of uniform. To ensure Texas airmen have additional, actionable guidance on how to fulfill the TAG's priorities, the Texas Air National Guard has its own set of strategic objectives. My hope is that these strategic objectives serve as a framework for success in every Texas Air National Guard unit across our state. Strategic objective number one is to add velocity to personnel programs, which is how I specifically want the Texas Air National Guard to put people first. Adding velocity to our personnel programs refers to the speed with which we respond to personnel actions. We must complete every personnel action in a timely manner. That starts with how we view a personnel action. It's not simply a piece of paper. It's a career, a family, a livelihood, a needed paycheck, an action that could range from processing a medical waiver to ensuring an airman can deploy, to quickly integrating a new airman into her unit. Our airmen can be significantly impacted by personnel actions, and our prompt attention to and prioritization of personnel actions is vital. Frankly, today's airmen cannot understand why we take so long to do things. The world is speeding up, we have to speed up with it. Never forget, personnel actions are people's lives. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on how we can make improvements. The second strategic objective is to grow our mission sets to meet the needs of the nation by leveraging the strengths and capabilities of Texas. Doing so requires us to remain relevant and ready per the tag's priorities, but also empowers us to become more relevant and ready in today's competitive environment. The Texas Air National Guard is in great shape thanks to robust recruiting and retention initiatives. With regard to population, location, and infrastructure, we are the perfect recruiting ground for taking on mission additives and even new mission sets. If we have an opportunity to serve our state and nation in new and more robust ways, we're eager to do so. The Texas Air National Guard must strive to remain the epitome of professionalism, to remain fully trained and always ready day in and day out. If the nation needs it and the Air National Guard is given the task, send it to Texas and we will get it done. That's our position. Being ready makes that position possible. Thank you for always being ready. Finally, the third strategic objective relates to TAG's priority involving communicating and partnering. Here we must facilitate a sense of unit ownership and unit pride among our local civilian office holders and leaders. The same goes for our elected representatives in Washington, D.C. These leaders need to feel like the units in their districts and their towns are in fact their units. We have to keep them informed of our missions and our challenges so that they may better support us. Our unit message is our TAG's message. They are one and the same. Concurrent and proportional modernization of our Air National Guard fleets and, if tasked, to succeed at any and all new mission sets. Our ability to communicate the common message to key stakeholders is crucial to our future. Perhaps more than ever, uh, we operate today in a complex world full of challenges. The tax priorities are a blueprint for our entire Texas military department, helping us focus our efforts and energies in a unified manner toward shared goals. The Texas Air National Guard's strategic objectives go a step further to ensure every Texas airman has a clear path to execute the tax priorities. I call on all Texas Air National Guard airmen to help me achieve these strategic objectives. Look for ways to implement them and help educate our fellow airmen. Thank you for your service and remember our vision. Duty. Honor. Texas.